what is up guys and welcome back to the limitless auto styling channel on here we're going to be going into further detail of wrapping a side mirror in carbon fiber along with doing this little thing right here so we're going to be wrapping this mirror it's just the cap let me show you guys the film we're going to be using for it this is by far in my opinion the most realistic carbon fiber there is on the market it's not a gloss it's a dry carbon fiber because I kind of prefer the dry look over the gloss look. The gloss look just looks like it's printed. I'm going to just go ahead and knock out the driver's side. Or actually, I'm going to knock out the passenger side since I have more room on the driver's side. And then I'm going to go into details of how you want to go about wrapping it. Alright guys, so here it goes, the final product for this mirror cap. It looks pretty clean in my opinion. Looks good. And here goes the pillar. <clears throat> also looks pretty clean. The things you are going to need to do this is definitely a clay bar to prep the surface that is going to be wrapped. Alcohol after you clay bar the area so the vinyl can stick to it pretty good you need a heat gun of course a rag the material you're going to be using a blade and finally a vinyl wrap squeegee those are just the essentials for it i'm gonna set you guys up here on the tripod right at this angle we're gonna get started with prepping the surface the pillar and this and then i'm gonna be back with you guys once we get started on wrapping the pillar first and then we're gonna do the cap all right so we got the whole surface prep next thing you want to do is you want to measure your piece of material that you're going to need and you want to cut it out i'm gonna measure the pillar cut it out and then we're gonna get to laying it this pillar is fairly easy because it's just flat you want to start from the bottom and you just want to work yourself up getting all the air from outside of the wrap from underneath the wrap from underneath the pillar going to cut the excess I want to tuck it underneath the seal so we're gonna cut the excess like right about there be careful not to apply too much pressure you really don't need that much pressure over here we are going to pick this up this way pull back this seal since it's giving us a little bit of room and put it in the temperature at the moment isn't ideal i'm gonna go grab the heat gun heat this up so this could be a lot smoother to put in the material the material is a little stiff so heating it up is going to allow it to give it more flex and just relax it so it can make it over the curve back the rubber gasket on this car all cars are not gonna be the same you might not even have this and you just came to this video for the pillars for the door mirrors for the mirror caps and you'll get to, we'll get to that in a bit
Instead of trying to just want to have to open the door, and you're not going to be able to do that, right? And you have to finish up with it. Apply. Apply some post heat to all these corners so the material will stay in place and it won't shift or peel back over time. And there you have it, the pillar wrap on this 300ZX. There we go, pretty good, pretty clean. The dent's still here, but not as visible as it was before. Now we're gonna go ahead and move over to the mirror cap. And I'm gonna just try to guide you guys through that one as well. All right, so now we're going to start the mirror cap. I got the film I'm going to be using. It really doesn't matter what position I'm going to put it. I did match the pillar's position with the other pillar, but since I am going to be redoing the other cap, because I had a little bit of a mistake because I didn't give myself enough material, the positioning for this one doesn't matter. So we're gonna go ahead and place it. I'm gonna just match this position when I redo the next mirror cap. So, we wanna give ourselves enough material. So that's where we're gonna lay it. And now everything else is going to pretty much be required with some heat. This is just to relax it because the outside temperature isn't as good as if it was if I was doing it inside the shop. But the shop is too dark for me to be in there. So I prefer to do it outside where I have some sunlight even though I'm running out of sunlight. I'm gonna pull it up here. And then we're gonna heat all of this and stretch this one. So we are going to get over this curve, right over here, perfect. And we heat it again, we're going to try to put it back to normal, and try to pull it up this way. Get this heat. Okay, that's a much better stretch for this top part. I'm just gonna keep this up. Up here, and get this in there. All right, so pretty much half of the mirror is already done. Now we just gotta do this bottom side. Whatever we can get without heating and shrinking, we should pretty much try to get. Get 
this area going in. Now I'm gonna finish off this side. I've already made it to the edge that I want to get to. but we want to be able to stretch everything in one go.
definitely giving myself more material on this side helped a lot more than giving myself limited material for on the other side. Now we're just gonna post heat before we do the final trim. Make sure everything stays in place where it needs to stay. Just run the heat gun. If anything shifts and moves, just put it back in place and you should be good. There we have it, the final product, the mirror. Took 20 minutes to get done. You guys saw the process sped up. I'm not too sure, I think this is an issue with my mirror underneath. But here goes the final product. It is looking clean, I love it. Here we go. The most realistic carbon fiber in my opinion looks beautiful something subtle but it does add a lot to the car anyways that's gonna be the end of this video guys if you guys did enjoy it please drop a down a like subscribe if you haven't help us reach 100 subscribers on this channel limitless auto styling but until then, guys, I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Yeah. Doses. My hands steady, I feel ready, but my legs heavy, I don't get it. How come I haven't hit it already? Still working, I'm still learning, I'm still searching, finally earning something, finally turning something called a problem.